Welcome back, everybody. Um, it's still Memorial Day weekend. I do believe it's Saturday. I'm hoping the rain will hold off for uh, just a couple more hours. I'm heading over uh, into southeastern Ohio, uh, just past. Oh, and the name uh, slips my mind. They did a, a lot of strip mining in this area. And they, uh, they have one of their buckets on display that they used. So I'm going to go check it out today. Um, it's an incredible ride getting out here. I'm out this way all the time. This is where I uh, pick up 555 just down the road. So uh, McConnellsville is where I'm heading. So once I get into McConnellsville or just past McConnellsville, I'll uh, I'll come back on. I'm on uh, State Route 37 right now out of Lancaster. As you can tell, it's uh, a nice little road. So uh, I'll come back once I get there. Everybody stay safe. Welcome back, everybody. Working my way through town. I'm back on 78. But so far, it's been a great little ride. Park should only be about an hour and a half from the house. And uh, I got the GPS mounted just because uh, I'm going to take a different way home and uh, I've never been that way before so I'm going to be out in the middle of nowhere and I don't think the cell phone's going to work. My daughter was supposed to fly home today, um, but we're going to extend her uh, her stay with us. Uh, we're not quite sure how long, how much longer she's going to be with us. Her husband's out in the field right now. Um, he was supposed to be get. He was supposed to have got out yesterday, but they've extended it. Um, so I don't know if she's uh, flying home next weekend or. Or, uh, what's gonna happen with that yet she's gonna she's gonna call the uh, I think she's flying Delta so she's gonna be calling Delta today she's already changed her flight once she's gonna see if she can uh, change it again so like I said uh, I don't know how far out this is so 
once I get out there I'll come back and uh, we'll walk around this thing and then uh, I'll find a new route home so uh, I'll see everyone in uh, see everyone shortly It's going to be really hard to tell the size of this thing. But it is absolutely humongous. and all the gussets and everything that are on this. It's just absolutely amazing. So hopefully this rain holds out just a little bit longer and I can get home. So there we go. That's our trip today. Welcome back. I think I'm gonna take 83 maybe. Don't think so. I guess we'll just go back this way. Um, don't like tar and gravel roads, definitely. I've never seen that place that busy. But that bucket is absolutely huge. Now I've only been out here one other time and that was years ago. 
and it's right off of 78 it's really easy to get to Holy crap, that sucked. Where they're patching the road, it's where the road's dropping off. So like right here, the road slid this whole area. So I was paying attention to the GMC and didn't realize we had a six inch or eight inch drop. That, uh, that sucked. That scared me a little bit. So, And I know they have hiking trails. I haven't checked into the camping uh, part of it, but I would assume they do. Got us some moo cows. It's upsetting that they just turned and graveled that road. It would have been a, a nice ride. That's okay. We'll find a we'll find a different way home. probably pick up 60 and uh, run up the Muskingum River. Yeah, see, so all this, all of that area is where the, the road is actually sliding away. And you get these ledges. So that one was an off-camber six inch drop and I definitely was just not expecting it
so uh, hopefully this camera showed the you can see the the size of that bucket you know and even the the chains and the the pivot spots and uh, the spots that are gusseted to support the weight Coming up on McConnellsville. Once I get into McConnellsville, I'll figure out which way we're gonna go, and uh, I'll probably shoot up 60 along the Muskingum. The last part of it's pretty boring, and then I just, you know, I backtrack a little bit. But uh, I don't know. I'll see. 